Hey, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips, and in this short video, we're going to take a look at Remix Live for iOS. It's a grid-based loop and sample playing app meant for live performance. It comes with free sound packs from loop masters in different genres, as well as additional packs that you can purchase within the app. In this video, I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the main features of Remix Live, and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So I've already downloaded Remix Live. It's a free download on the App Store, and I've got it on my iPad Mini 4 over here. So let's launch the app. There you go. So when you first launch it, it'll install the sound packs that come with it. Since I've already installed it, all the sound packs are already in here, and I've got the Deep House pack loaded at the moment. You can download additional sample packs by going to the menu here, going to store, and pressing sample packs. So it'll show you all the sample packs that you can get. Some are free, while some have a price. Most of them cost around $1.99. So let's go back to the main menu. And let's take a look at the grid interface of Remix Live. So it's composed of an 8x6 grid of cells. It becomes a 6x4 grid on the iPhone. You can launch cells by tapping on them. And if you notice, they all launch in a quantized manner, meaning they launch on time even if you press a cell too early or too late. This makes it easy to play sounds in sync, and since each sample pack comes in the same musical key, it also means that the loops you play will most likely sound good together. You can stop a cell from playing back just by pressing it as well. And they stop in time. You can launch an entire row of cells by swiping, like so. And you can stop them by swiping too. You can only launch one cell per column by default. Just like that. But you can change this by going to settings and choosing multiple mode. Let's do that right now. Go. This lets you launch a bunch of clips in a column. Let's say I'm gonna add some bass here, chords. There you go. So yes, it can get a bit messy if you launch too many cells in a single column. So just use your ears to judge. You can record your performance by hitting the record button here at the top. And you can share this later on by sending it through email or direct upload to SoundCloud. So let's see, I'm gonna stop this recording. Stop all these clips. Then go to the menu, go to recordings, and as you can see, I've got my recording over here, which I can send via email or SoundCloud, depending on how I want to distribute it. Let's go back to the main menu. Okay, so now let's check out the mixer. Here you can adjust the volume as well as the filter for each channel. So let's try playing back some cells here. And then let's head on over to the mixer page and you can adjust the volume for each channel just by moving these faders. And you've also got a level meter at the bottom of each channel, which shows you the loudness of each column and the grid. You've got your filters over here at the top. These change from a high pass and low pass, just like on DJ Mixer. So that's it for the mixer, and then let's move on over to the effects page. Now there's a touchpad on the left where you can apply different effects. Right now I've got a delay on there, 
and let's say I want to affect um, the entire project so I've got to highlight the master button that's here at the top and then just move my finger on the touchpad and I've got these effects going now if I want to apply the effect on an individual channel I just press the channel that I want here at the bottom so let's say I want to affect the drums I press one and now I'm applying the effect to just the drums I can also apply some beat repeat effects which um, simulate a stutter just by pressing these performance pads so I've got one sixteenth of a beat, an eighth of a beat, quarter note, half note, one beat, and two beats. I can unlock different effects over here in the drop down menu by purchasing them online. So right now the free ones are the delay and filter effects and if I want to get flanger reverb and delay and whoosh, I've got to buy them. So just click on the buy now button and you'll be sent to the store. And here you can buy the effects either individually or as a pack. Of course, if you buy the pack, you're gonna get it at a discount. Okay, so let's move on to the last page, which is uh, the cell settings menu. This lets you adjust the behavior of each cell. For example, you can change the play mode from loop to one shot, which will only make the cell play through once or gate, which means the cell will only play back audio if you've got it pressed. So let's try that right now. Right now our kicks alias cell is set to loop. If we change this to a one shot, it'll only play it once. Now if we change this to gate, that means we have to hold down the cell in order to make it play. And when we let go, playback stops. You can also adjust add-on features here like transposition, audio editing, as well as voice recording, and these come at an extra in-app purchase cost. As of this filming, Remix Live works with Ableton Link, meaning it can sync up with other Link-enabled apps through Wi-Fi or if you're running it on the same iOS device. Mixvibe's own Cross DJ Pro works with Link, so that means you can DJ and have a friend or yourself launching loops and samples for improvising. We'll go into more depth when we review Cross DJ Pro. So, is Remix Live a good app to have? Well, I think it's a fun way to get into loop-based performances. It's easy to use, and the sample packs from Loop Masters sound great straight out the box. Plus, the interface is simple to operate. So, kudos to Mixvibes for making it beginner-friendly without oversimplifying. Though Remix Live already covers a diverse range of styles, I'd like to have seen more sample packs here. Also, even though it's a free app, if you're going to unlock all the extra features as well as effects and sample packs, it can get a bit pricey. Buying all the features plus effects can run you close to 20 bucks already, and that's not counting the extra sample packs that you'll probably want to download and buy. It's a lot of fun though, and I find myself using it when I've got a few minutes to kill on the plane or at a coffee shop, although those few minutes can quickly turn into a full-on session. It's quite addictive, especially since it's easy to get good sounding results with a minimum of effort. So I do recommend it as a starting point for beginners who want to be introduced to the beautiful and often messy world of loop-based performances. So check out my full review of Remix Live over at the Digital DJ Tips website. The link is in the description box below. Please hit the thumbs up icon if you like this video and hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet. My name is Joey. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.